It's not only important to know how to read a journal article, but also how to summarize and connect it to other sources that address the same topics and concepts. You may encounter assignments that require you to create an annotated bibliography or a literature review about a topic. There are differences between these two types of assignments, but they both require you to find, analyze, and summarize multiple sources. An annotated bibliography is a document that lists different sources related to a common topic, along with a short paragraph with each source that summarizes its findings and how it connects to the overall topic. Like a bibliography, it includes a citation for each source, but the short paragraph or annotation provides more information about a source than you'd encounter in a typical bibliography. A literature review is more complex than an annotated bibliography. A literature review goes beyond a list of sources with brief summaries to making connections between different sources and describing how they correspond or disagree with each other. Literature reviews provide overviews of the existing research or literature. They not only summarize the existing literature, but also analyze, evaluate, and compare the findings of different articles. Literature reviews describe the current body of knowledge about a topic, while oftentimes also providing ideas for future research. A literature review is more expansive in scope than an annotated bibliography. While an annotated bibliography is focused on a specific topic, literature reviews typically analyze greater numbers of sources to provide a more thorough overview of larger bodies of knowledge. Writing an annotated bibliography requires you to first provide a citation for your source in an academic writing style. You'll then provide the annotation for the source. After closely reading the source, think about how you would summarize its findings in your own words. Consider why you chose this particular source, how it relates to your topic, and provide your own commentary on the author's conclusions. Remember that an annotation is not a full research paper. Annotations are typically only a paragraph long. Writing a literature review is naturally a little more complicated. When you're reading a large amount of sources, it's a good idea to create a review matrix to keep track of the articles you read. The review matrix is a document where you include bibliographic information of a source and describe different aspects of each source. This can include the source's major themes, methodologies, conclusions, strengths and weaknesses, and how the source connects to the overall body of knowledge. There's no single correct way to create a review matrix, but the overall purpose is that it allows you to easily compare, contrast, and make connections between different sources to provide you with a review of the existing literature. This can help you identify common themes in the literature, and it will make it easier for you to actually write the literature review itself. Not all literature reviews follow the exact same structure, but generally speaking, a literature review should include background information about the subject, a summary of the current body of knowledge, any gaps or unexplored avenues in the research, and potential next steps for research surrounding the subject. 